Hi, thanks for tuning in to watch my vector fields how-to video. In this video, we're going to talk about resizing a vector field. So normally you would think you could just click on a vector field a particle and then uh, resize it. Uh, it. It does not resize correctly um, in respect to the vector field. So I went bigger there. You can see that it's um, uh, just not even a tornado looking thing anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The way to actually do this is a a little bit more to it. So we'll go ahead and duplicate this, find it in the browser, duplicate this particle. I'll call it tornado one, that's fine. And then I will drag this tornado out there and set it up here, about the same height. And then what I'll do is open up this particle in cascade. And what I wanna do is, uh, the first few things you gotta do is change the vector field itself. So we'll go to the vector field and we'll turn it on. If you don't have what the vector field looks like here, uh, you see that it's turned on here. Um, you can turn this turn this on and off here um, <clears throat> to be shown. So uh, right now the yellow box is what we're sizing up. That's actually the vector field. So I want to go ahead and make this double the size. So what I do is we want to uh, do two times the amount of translation and the scale and the intensity. So whatever multiplier we want to scale, we need to do the same thing for the uh, translation. So we want to do double the size. So 161.8, that's what 162 rounded out, but we want to go to 324. So we'll go to that 324. And then we'll want to, not the rotation, you don't need to do anything with the rotation. We need to scale the scale. So we'll go ahead and take that times two, that'd be 80. And then on the intensity, um, this is definitely up to the look, but usually doing the same scale factor with intensity makes it look good too. So I do that to 20 to make it more intense. All right, so now that takes care of the vector field. Now what we got to do is do the, the same thing for the emitting volume. So whatever you emit from the, the sphere or if it's a, uh, a square or a cylinder, uh, whatever it is that you emit from, you need to also multiply its radius or volume by the same scale factor. So now we take this times two, which would be 200, and then I'll scale that up. Uh, now you can start to see that the, um, the shape's starting to come back. We're starting to see that tornado shape, and it's twice the size. Uh, and then the other things that you want to do is um, probably double the size of the uh, sprite also. So I'll go ahead and double that up. Now this does not necessarily have to be done in all cases, but it does uh, help scale it. So there you have it. That's the uh, uh, particle scaled up two times bigger. Uh, actually, if you notice, it's actually bigger than what I'm showing here. Uh, I need to bring it up a little bit higher so I can get the full base. So you can see that it's actually two times bigger than the other one. I still don't have enough space. Actually, I think I can take the, the roof off the top here. Let's open the roof up. Oh, yes, now we have the roof taken off. All right. So now you can actually see that it that it's uh, more like two times the size. There you have it. And oh, that's cool that the uh, vector fields still have the walls working without the roof. All right. So basically, um, if you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment down below. And uh, uh, thanks for watching.